many times we look at comments that come in from racist and they have a theme that they like to tell many of us when they come on our videos or many other people's videos. They like to tell black Americans that you didn't build anything. You have a low IQ. You haven't done this. You haven't done that. We built everything. And if you just do a little research, you can definitely know that they rarely did anything. They wouldn't have an America if it wouldn't be for the black man and black woman of America. They built things off of our backs. So technically we built it, but I want to start pointing out the great brothers and sisters that who have done things to not only innovate America, but innovate the world. So when these white supremacists who don't have no education at all, who really shouldn't have access to a whole lot of things due to that lack of education and common sense, you will have people to retort to them quickly. Now we're going to talk today about our great sister by the name of Dr. Gladys West. Now you may say, well, what's the deal with her? You know, on your phone, when you need to find out where is a location, you type in the phone, wherever you're going to type it, and it tells you go here, turn there, GPS, right? Dr. Gladys West is the woman that was instrumental to create GPS technology. If it wasn't for Dr. Gladys West, you wouldn't have a GPS right now. You'll still be doing everything from a printed map that comes out once a year. So something that many of us use all the time was created by a black woman, but Oh, I thought the white supremacists say that we done nothing. I thought the white supremacists say we didn't build anything. And yet all over the world, people are enjoying GPS technology that was innovated by Dr. Gladys West. Now she was born in 1930 in Sutherland, Virginia in Dinwiddle County, a rural County South of Richmond. Her family was a farming family in a community of sharecroppers. Now you remember sharecropping was that black people would go work on the white people's land and it they wouldn't get paid at the end of the day because they would finesse them. Basically, if you know anything about sharecropping, I'm just giving you the small version of that. Her mother worked in a tobacco factory. Her father was a farmer. He also worked for the railroad as well. Now, Dr. Gladys looked at her parents and said, you know what? I'm not going to go work in a factory and for sure. I'm not going to go work on a farm. She said that education is my way out. And the top kids in the class got the scholarship to Virginia college at that time. But now it's called Virginia state university. So she got the full ride scholarship. She graduated in 1948 with the title of valedictorian. Now she put her major in science and math because of their difficulty. Then she chose the study of mathematics, a subject most studied at her college by men. She became a AKA and she graduated in 1952 with a bachelor of science in mathematics. Now after graduating, she taught math and science for two years in Waverly, Virginia. And she returned to VSU to complete her master's of mathematics degree, graduated in 1955. Afterwards, she briefly took another teaching position in Martinsville, Virginia. Now in 1956, she was hired to work at the Naval Proving Ground in Dahlgren, Virginia, now called the Naval Surface Warfare Center, where she was the second black woman ever hired and one of only four black employees. Now West was a programmer in the Naval Surface Warfare Center for large scale computers and a project manager for data processing systems used in analysis of satellite data. Oh, but I thought black people had a low IQ. I thought black people couldn't do anything. Quite interesting and she's doing all of this and she's being a black person. Do you see why we should not listen to them? Do you see why you should look into what we have done to innovate America, but continuing concurrently West earned a second master's degree in public administration from the university of Oklahoma. Six is she participated in an astronomical study that proved the regularity of Pluto's motion relative to Neptune. Subsequently, 
she began to analyze data from the satellites, putting together altimeter models of the Earth's shape. So she started to see how she could do that with her mathematic skills early on. This is back in the 60s. She became the project manager of CSAT radar altimetry project, the first satellite that could be remotely sensed oceans. Wes continually put in extra hours, cutting her team's processing time in half. She was recommended for accommodation in 1979. I'm trying to just give you the facts before I really start talking. Now in the mid seventies to eighties, she worked for IBM computer to deliver increasingly precise calculations to model the shape of the earth. Generating an extremely accurate model required her to employ complex algorithms to account for variations in gravitational tidal and other forces that distorted the earth's shape. West data ultimately became the basis for the global positioning system, the GPS that you use. So in 1986, she published the data processing system specifications for geosat satellite radar altimeter, a 51 page technical report from the Naval surface weapons center. Now the guide was published to explain how to increase the accuracy of the estimation of geoid heights and vertical deflection, important components of satellite geodesy. This was achieved by processing the data from the radio altimeter and the geosat satellite, which went into orbit on March 12, 1984. Now her vital contributions on GPS technology was rediscovered when a member of her sorority read a short biography Gladys has submitted to an alumni function. She was inducted to the United States Air Force Hall of Fame in 2018, one of the Air Force's Space Command's highest honors. So she lived a good life. She's still alive today, but you would not have GPS without her. Let me tell you something to anyone that's listening in our community. This is one woman in a long line of people that have innovated America. It's things that you're using every single day that black Americans innovated, created, contributed to, to make things work and make it happen. If you would look at everything that we have contributed. And if you would take it all away, this place would be desolate. It would be black Americans built the, one of the greatest countries on the earth. The, the people that didn't build anything because they didn't build it, no matter what they say, they didn't, they claim that like they did everything. That's just like what they do. They take credit for other people's things. Give an example. I don't agree with everything Barack Obama done. I don't, but Barack Obama took the economy from a horrible recession. When he came in, the banks was about to fold and Barack Obama came in and turned all that around and turned the economy completely around. Cause you got to remember when Bush had the economy, it was horrible. Gat regular unleaded was 385 a gallon. I remember it. And when Barack Obama got it, it was a mess. By the time Trump got in office, he handed Trump a great economy. And what did Trump do? He says, Oh, look at the economy I created. If Trump would have got the country in the mess that it was in from Bush, we would have been in a worse situation. Now I'm telling you, Trump got the country handed to him in a good position. And yet he want to take the credit. Like I told you before with Donald Trump, he is the representation of America. They always will take credit on things that we have invented, things we have innovated. They will always do that. And then they don't want to teach the true history because in school you are miseducated. They don't want to teach you that a black woman is the reason why you have GPS technology. They don't want to tell you that why they don't want to tell you that because they bank on you thinking low of yourself. They want you to feel like you can't do anything because you stay in a subservient position that way. Once you start realizing that you come from good stock, that you come from a people who's extremely smart, who's extremely innovative, people who are talented, people who are gifted, then you will look at yourself and say, wait a minute, these people are no different than I am. So that's in me too to do. I have ideas. I'm smart. I can do different things. Understand something. That's what Gladys West done to help out us even to this day. Now Trump and them run around talking about make America great again and keep America great. America would not be 
anywhere near great. It wouldn't be for the contributions of black Americans. Understand that. And if they had the production they used to have out of us, they would be in a predicament they in now, but we created a great nation for them and they messed it up. That's what exactly what happened. Now you remember when Dave Chappelle was talking about we in a position in this country and it's pretty bad. And he said, the question is, are we as black Americans going to save them? We have to make that decision. Now, you know, my position, no, we don't need to save nobody. We didn't water cape too long. Let, since they have so much a high IQ and they know everything, let them do it. Let them figure it out. Don't come in no more and save them. Forget that. Just like the black people in the Caribbean, save them in the UK, rebuild their country after the war. They couldn't even do it themselves. We have to realize everything we have done. We built nations. We've innovated technology. It's so many things that we have contributed. Don't you let these people come into no chat room and tell you what you haven't built or what you haven't contributed. Anytime you see them doing that, I want y'all to go at them heavy, make them regret coming in and saying that stupidity because that is totally not true. It's so many things in everyday life that we take for granted that black people have created, but yet they act like you haven't created anything. And the condition that you're in today was done by them. You didn't put yourself in that predicament because when we were by ourselves, we created nothing but greatness because they said we couldn't go around them. They had to go to our neighborhoods, go to our businesses to do things to us. We didn't go over there messing with them. But what I'm saying is, just as Dr. Gladys West created the GPS system that you're using today, just as much as we have innovated medicine, we talk about sports, you know, military equipment, all different things that we have done. Don't ever look down on yourself and say, oh, look at our predicament, look at the way we are, look at this, look at that. Look at that GPS technology and say that it comes from our community. That's where it comes from. They wouldn't have GPS. It wouldn't be for us. That's how you got to look at that. I told you guys before they need us a lot more than we need them. Trust me on that because they'll try to come in here and act like we, they're doing us favors. No, no, no. We have done so much for you that you definitely need us. And you know what? You're going to see real quick. You're going to see, you're going to see because that democratic party, is playing a certain game and they're going to see what happens at the end of the day with it. Watch, watch what's going to happen. Don't ever look down on yourself. Don't ever feel like less than, I don't care what these people say to you. All they got is words for you. That's all they have. Violence. That's all they have. But at the end of the day, they have nothing. All thing they can do better than you is hate. They can do that better than us. I give them that. They are the masters of hate. The white supremacists, they are. No one hates more than them. But when it comes to us, we build nations. We build kingdoms. People say, well, why don't you build it again? We built the greatest nation on earth. Even the technology that's here today, they try to act like we didn't do anything with that. Don't believe they got brothers and sisters right now that's in Silicon Valley learning and gonna walk away from Silicon Valley and start their own companies billion dollar companies. They're going to start just as much as the guy that won a job at Facebook, they turned him down. He created WhatsApp. And then what happened later? Facebook went to him to go buy WhatsApp. Now the man's a billionaire. We got that same talent in the black community. So shout out to Dr. Gladys West for her contribution It's black America innovating, not only America, but the world. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular great sister in our history that's still alive today, but understand something. It's more than just Dr. Gladys West. It's many, many more that we could talk about. And I'm also doing it not just for educational purposes, but I want you to not look down on yourself. I don't want you to think that we haven't contributed anything because they're purposely miseducated you. That's why we have to create our own schools and have our own teachers because they do not want you to know who you really are. They know who you are and they want to benefit off of you constantly. 
but when we truly know who we are, once again, we can put that talent right back in our community.